this is a message to my black men and black women. Never, never let any other race try to hurt your people. Never. So we must start love one another as we love ourselves. Stand up and fight. I had a book. It's from the Lawrence, and it's called. The Great Book of Magic of India Arts. Hindu Magic and Indian Occults. This is the book I have. This book has been written by a man you call De Lawrence. De Lawrence, let's see if I have his picture here. It was one of those spiritual scientists, our great magician, De Lawrence. Many people know of De Lawrence, but not too many Americans, mostly Jamaican, foreign countries. But he's well known all over the world. Yes. And he wrote this book, The Great Book of Magical Arts and Indian Magic and Indian Occults. Is in. In this book, this book have a lot of stuff that you can learn. How to subdue the spirit. And it's good. It's a very good book to have. It is telling you when the government no longer respect the people and separate themselves from the people, the people becomes one thing and the government becomes another. So we're going to have a lot of problem. There's a place in Los Angeles we call the Skid Row. And if you want to find missing black people, that's where you need to go. Because these people litter the street with all manner of things and they intoxicate themselves with all type of narcotics and they become useless. And don't matter what you do to help these people, you cannot. I tried to help many of these people for several years. And they will be good for a week or two or a month and they will go back into the seat of the scornful. No one want to help these people. If you go down Los Angeles, you are afraid to walk on the street. Yes, you are afraid to walk on the street. Because these people, they litter the street so much that you're scared. They urinate in the street, the feces is in the street, and the government is not doing anything. Look at all these little homes that they have in the street that they call homes. These are little tents that they pitch. They cook in there, they sleep in there, and they have sex in there. And nobody is not doing anything. The street need to be clean up. What I mean the street need to clean up. The government, government need to start take some responsibility and remove those people from the street. Remove them. They're talking about giving these people homes and shelter. But how are they going to take care of the home? 
they got to pay for lights, they got to pay for gas, and they got to pay for water. And they have to pay rent. Or the government is going to sustain all of that with these people. So what would they be doing in the same time? Are these people sick? They are not sick. These people are people that caught up with narcotics and they litter the street of Los Angeles, San Pedro to 7th Street. You can't walk to those places. You are scared to walk there. You don't know if these people is going to attack you. Look at all the garbage they have there. Look at all of that. The government need to wake up and start help these people or to remove these people from off the street so the fairly decent people can walk and go shopping and do what they want to do. It's a bloody shame. It's a bloody shame, American government. Or the mayor of Los Angeles is a shame. You're not doing a goddamn thing. Because the street was littered with homeless people that call themselves homeless. They were living someplace before. Huh? They were living someplace before. And all of a sudden, they have no place to live. <coughs> have no place to live. Some people said they lost their job. And they don't seek to find another job. There is no job. So they rather go and sleep on the street. The point that I'm making, you have to remove them from the street. Because people who want to go shopping and want to view the city is afraid. I'm calling upon the mayor to clean the street up. I'm calling on the governor to clean it up. Because nobody is not doing anything. I, the little man, cannot clean it up. These people need to get off the street. If they have mental problem, we need to put them into the mental institution. It's very plain and simple. If they are using narcotics, cut them off from the federal fund. SSI, Social Security, if they already accomplished to get their Social Security, it's okay. Because that's their own money that they earn. But these people are not old people there. They are young people. 30, 35, 40, 50 years of age. 55. A few 65 year old people are there. So they can get their social security. And if they are getting their social security, they have enough or not enough, but they can pay rent. Yes. So in the meantime, these government are talking bullshit. That's what they need to do. And it's not Los Angeles alone. They are in Santa Monica. They're all over the place. They're in Venice Beach. They are on the local street. You'll find these little tents all over the place. These people are filled with narcotics. So if you stop them from getting general relief, they would not have too much money to buy drugs anymore. Cause this place will fill with drugs. Drugs all over the place. Nothing wrong with these people. I took them from there. I took several people from there and try to get them better with herbal plants. And I get to find out nothing is wrong with them. Because they want to use drugs 
and they do not want to tile for what they want. They want a handout. They want handout. And we got to stop that handout. Me, I'm tired of giving up things out. No. No more handout for me, man. Uh-uh. The amount of stuff that I give away, money, clothes, shelter, I could be a millionaire today. Imagine you give away $10 every day to homeless people. Every day. $2 there, $2 there, $10. I'm just giving you a basic. And check it out for 20 years. How much you give away. And there's no benefit in it because they don't respect anybody you see those homeless they respect no one you take them to your place and they steal and they lie you give them shelter I am not giving none of them no more shelter I finish with that if they want to pay rent Maybe I give them shelter. Yes, it's too much going on. So the government is not doing anything because the government separate themselves from the people and the people become one entity and the government becomes another. So when divine law draw it away it's nature from the government. Wisdom no longer guide the people. And without wisdom, everything perish. Without wisdom, you become fool. Without wisdom, the contents of the hurt and all what in it. The bees, the fish, the birds, the trees, the mineral, when you know all of those on their purpose, then you have wisdom. If you do not know those things, you do not have any wisdom. If you just know about computer and TV, that's not wisdom. So what I'm saying, we have to wake up and try to clean the place up. Too much filth around, too much filth. Everybody want to smoke drugs. Everybody want to use narcotics. Sometimes I don't blame the homeless because the government people are also using drugs. So when these little people saw that, they want to do the same thing. Hey, if you can do that, why can't I do that? And that's the problem we have. Same thing going on in Jamaica. Everybody want to use all type of crazy drugs over there. Bleaching themselves and doing all type of crazy stuff. When I was a young man, none of that was taking place. Only thing they had was marijuana. And maybe a few foreigners come there with some crazy stuff. And most of the time they get locked up. <coughs> but now the people go gone wild. I'm talking in the days of Buster Monty, Norman Manley. I'm talking those days. I'm not talking the days of Michael. Because Michael become crazy and start to do wrong stuff. Siago become crazy and start to do wrong stuff. I'm talking the days of Bustamante. So what I'm saying, we have to wake up. 
how are we going to wake up? We the black men got to wake up. Yes, we the black men got to wake up. We got we got to start taking care of our people. Clean them up. If you can, the church need to start tell the people in the audience that hey, stop using drugs. The preacher is not doing none of that. Have you ever sit down and listen to these preacher what they're talking about? Come on, black man. Have you ever listened to these preacher? They are not talking how to cleanse their people. They're not talking how to clean up their people. They're not talking how to get rid of this disease from our people. If you disbelieve me, go to their synagogue and their churches. Just make a visit one day and, and just listen to what they're talking about. And listen to what they're teaching the children. See what they're teaching the children. If you disbelieve me, just go. It is a shame, it doesn't matter who it is. The Muslim, the Presbyterian, the Baptist, the Jehovah Witness, the Church of God, the Catholic. All of them is teaching wrong things to our people. What I mean our people? The woolly man, the man with the wool. That's my people, the man with the wool, not the man with the hair. Because the man with the hair is not the original man. The only original man is the man with the wool. On his head and on his face. Otherwise you can't talk to me if you're not the original man. Because the only man that know about the hurt and the constant, the only man that know about the hurt and the contents of the hurt on the moon and the stars is the black man. Every other man learn from the black man. So what I'm saying, we got to wake up. Wake up and see if we can help our people. Help each other. Tell them what is right and tell them what is wrong. Maybe your right is wrong and maybe my wrong is right. So you tell them. So they can either overstand or understand. Because we are not going anywhere. Our people is not going anywhere. Our people sit back, relaxing, waiting on some Messiah. And the Messiah that they're waiting on is a limey. He's an Uncle Saxon. He's a white man. Because all my people before I was born, they have the white icon in their home. And you see, as a young boy, I could not understand. I did, I did not know about no America, no, no Germany, no Russia. I didn't have any knowledge of those places until I went there. And when I went to those places, I still saw those black people have the white icon in their homes. So the Messiah that my people believe in is a white Messiah. So we cannot get out of this slumber. We can't. 
Because some men came in existence and said they have dreams that someday, someday, the black men and the white men children go to walk down the street and sing free at last. And as I said, those words are vanity. The black men should not be saying those words. For the white men children and the black men children should walk down the street and sing free at laws. No. Uh-uh. If you can understand the brutality that take place with the woolly people by the hands of the white man, then you would not say those words. From north, south, east, and west, the brutality that took place with our people, they write it down themselves. So you think they're lying on themselves? How many black men they kill? Do you think they're bragging? No, come on. If you think if they go in Tasmania, and kill 50 million black men. You think they're bragging they kill 50 million black men? If they carry one million black men from Africa to the Caribbean and kill 60 million, 60,000, you think they're lying? Because black men did not wrote the history. How many die on the way? Is a white man. So you think they're bragging on themselves to put fear in your mind? You think when they go in South Africa and they kill 20 million or 40 million, you think they're lying? Or you think they're bragging on themselves? When they're going to Ethiopia and kill 10 million, you think they're bragging on themselves? That they killed 10 million black men? When they're going to Libya and kill 1 million, you think they're lying? When they're going to Iraq and kill 250,000, you think they're lying? No, they don't need to lie on themselves. Or they don't need to lie on themselves for you to have fear within yourself against them. Because when they want to destroy you, there is nobody who's going to stop them. I already said it a long time ago. There is no God who's going to stop them. And there is no Satan who's going to stop them. If you notice, God have not stopped the white men from killing the black men. No place. It doesn't matter how the white men kill the black man, the God of the Bible never stop him. As I said before in the past, if you take two million black babies and take them into the ocean, into the Mediterranean Sea and dump them off, God will not save one of them. Not one of them God would save. The God of the Bible. He will not save not one of them. Because the word God is a German word. It's not an African word, as you call it, Africa. It's not an Aramaic word. So now, all of you that is believing that there's a God someplace, are the God of the Bible, and the word, and his name is God, and the, and the word is an African word, or the name is an is not an African name, it's a German word. Came from a word goodness. And they put it into the English language. So we gotta wake up. Wake up. As I said, if you read more science book, you will be better off because you get more understanding or overstanding 
from those books, not from the Bible. Because the Bible has been contaminated. This, this is what I'm trying to say to my people. Look. The story of the Bible is came from the scroll of my people. And I mean, I've been trying to say this for many, many times. Where is those scroll? And nobody can answer. I said, hey, send me an email. Tell me where those scrolls are. Because the Soviet Union government bought those scrolls many years ago. From the monks of the place you call Africa. And then the Russian sell them to the British government. The point what I'm making, those scroll was not in English and they still not in English. They were written in Aramaic. And they're written from right to left. From right to left with no division. And the white man take it and change it around and write it from left to right with division. Now, you take my story that is written from right to left and you take it and write it from left to right with division. How I'm going to understand it or overstand it? It's all messed up. The book of the beast is not there and the book of the herbs is not there. And I have one of those books with the book of Tobias, the book of second Tobias, the book of the Maccabee and the book of second Maccabee, the book of fifth Chronicles. You don't have those in your book. You don't have those in your book. So everything is messed up. As I said, we have to clean the street up. We have to clean the street up. Get our people off the street in some way or another. If they're crazy, put them in the crazy house. Those that is crazy, put them in the crazy house. And those who are not crazy, clean them up and find a job for them. Take them off of narcotics. You can take them off of narcotics. Because you're not crazy. So once you can tell them off of narcotics, we're not, we not going to have any problem. And all my people all over the world are using narcotics. And the leaders are not doing anything. None of our, in the first place, we don't have any black leaders anymore. Have you ever noticed that? We don't have any black leaders to tell us what is right from wrong because they're speaking about Jesus and speaking about Muhammad have you ever noticed the black leaders what they're speaking about they're speaking about Jesus or Muhammad so we can't get out of this stagnant dirty water So our people just keep on going around. That's what our people is doing. Just keep on going around. Can't find our direction. And then you talk about the white man. He's not causing you to do what you're doing. If he's causing you to do what you're doing, we got to get rid of him. What do you mean get rid of him? You got to go to Africa and chase him out. And those black men that is marrying these white women, we got to get rid of them too. Because they're messing up our race. If you made a mistake, it's okay. And you correct your mistake that you made. 
There's a lot of beautiful black women out there. And not one of these rich black men is trying to marry them. They go off and they pick up some trash off the street and marry. You could imagine, not one of the black men that is marrying this white woman. Their women have not been given to them by the mother or the father. They pick them up off the street or some restaurant or some club. So they're trashy white girls. And they hold them up like they're holding Jesus in their hand. As you call it, call a man Jesus. Because they're one of Jesus' family. See, I'm not, when I talk, I don't talk from books. Because in the past, my people didn't have books to, to talk from. They talk of themselves. From yourself, you utter words. And once you utter a word from yourself, if they're right or wrong, it doesn't matter. Because words are like music. There is no right and there is no wrong. If you say something that someone disagrees with, it's, that doesn't mean it's wrong. And it's the same with music. There is no right and there is no wrong. You play it the way you want it. Only ignorant do not understand that part. So what I'm saying, you know, I, what I'm saying, we have to wake up. You remember I said, every time I do a show, I'm going to give you a herbs. Here is a herbs that I have here. I am not using the other camera right now. This is a close. Here's a herbs I have. It's called catnap. These herbs are very good. You can plant one at your home. This catnap, if you plant that catnap at home, at midnight, all the cats of the neighborhood will gather at your house. And they will bathe in the catnap, and they will make different sounds. If you plant it close to the window, you can hear the sounds of those cats. Like they're speaking like a man. So if you take this cat nap, I'm going to give you a magical here. You can burn it for incense at home, dry it out, but not in the sun. If you have guests, you can make a tea. And it will calm the mind of your guests. That's what this cat catnap will do. If you want to gain the love of someone, you can take this catnap and you can put it in your right pocket. And you can hold it in your hands before you shake the female hand or the male hand but you do not take the herbs out you keep it warm in your hand and remove your hand from your pocket between the herbs and shake the hand of that individual they will love you ever more the catnap is a very mindful herbs Many people know about the catnap. And do you know who know about the catnap? The white people. The white people know about the catnap more than black people. And it's a shame. It's a shame they know about the catnap herbs more than my people. See, when the white people have kitty cat at homes, they go and buy the catnap and they put it into a little ball and they will give it to the cat. The cat will not leave the home and the cat will not scratch nothing up in the house. The cat will play with that cat nap as long as the cat nap is in the house. 
and the cat will not destroy the little ball of catnap. So you see sometimes you have to learn from a fool. So I just gave you about six things a catnap can do. You can make a tea from the catnap and give it to your guests. You can burn it in the house as incense. You can plant it close to your window at home and all the cat at midnight will gather there and bathe in it. And they will speak to each other like a man. If you can listen or put a tape record there. If you put it in your pocket and warm it in your hand. Sorry, if you hold it in your hand and put it in your right pocket and hold it there until your hand becomes warm and you take your hands out of your pocket and leave the herbs in and shake any individual hand they will be in love with you you can take a herbal bought in the catnap with other herbs such as mandrake such as lemongrass are called fever grass. And wild peppermint. Wild peppermint plant. You will have a good night's sleep. If you take the catnap, put it into a little ball, and put it under your pillar, or you can sprinkle it, count it in your hand, and sprinkle it on your pillar, you will have a pleasant dream. You can dream into the future as what you call future. And there is many ways to use a catnap. But at this moment, that's what I give you right now on this herbs that you can use it. But let's go back. As I said, we got to clean up our people. This is a message to my black man. Clean our and people up because our people never, never let is dying from all types of disease. Try to urge your people. They don't know about the medical never. herbs. So as we call it, medical herbs. Love one another. Herbs are food. And we love ourselves. They don't know to eat them. Stand up and fight. They don't know to extract the juice fight from them. Without a blender. Never let no and all of you that is getting on the internet and talking about hers and have not learned it from the elder, you're lying because you're reading books. Okay? So as I said, we got to clean our people up. And if we can't clean our people up, I don't know what's going to happen. Peace. I'm out of here.